Narcissists lie their backside off. But how do they get you to believe their version of things that has got more holes in it than a Swiss cheese? First of all, let's have a look at why do narcissists lie? They can't tell you the truth. Because the truth is, I see you only as an object and I'm going to exploit you and I'm going to empty you out to further my agenda and benefit myself at your expense. So of course I can't tell you the truth. So they have to lie and they do lie. And here's the thing, narcissists are so superior, they're so arrogant, they're so omnipotent that they're actually not even uh, classy with their lies. Like they really don't care. It doesn't matter that they can get caught out in a lie, they'll double up, up with another lie, they'll just switch gears, they'll change the goalposts, uh, and it doesn't make sense. And you know it doesn't make sense because it feels really off in your body and you find that your brain is ticking and you're questioning things. But here's the thing, the narcissist to be able to exploit you needs you to go along with a lie and a lot of people do and they get tricked into it and they get psychologically trauma bonded into it and that's what I want to talk to you about today the three things that you can look out for so that you know this is happening to you and you can stop it happening to you and not get caught up in it so the first thing that a narcissist is going to do is they're going to create an anxiety within you so you start fearing something you start feeling anxious and fearful. So for example, you've started dating a narcissist and you know that they've left a spouse and they may drop some things that make, and they go missing in action or there's text messages that are coming in late at night or whatever. And all of a sudden your problem and your anxiety is that they may go back to this person that you may not have this life with this dream partner that you think you're gonna have and then what the narcissist will do is they will agitate that in a way where little things that they say or that they do can heighten that anxiety. So you're anxious. Then the narcissist will offer the solution to it. They will charm you with telling you how wonderful you're being and how supportive and how, that's a noisy car, how, uh, sure in Australia we have some noisy cars they will tell you how sure um, they are that this is going to work out and you know you're going to have this amazing love relationship with them and you're the new love of their life and so you get charmed into thinking that this person is the solution to the abandonment and the fears of being replaced or the fears of uh, being alone or single again so what happens is, is you are uh, replacing your gut feeling and the things that aren't adding up with your focus on this person is going to give me the solution that's going to take my anxiety away. So it's charm and they butter you up and they tell you how well you're doing and how good you are and how wonderful you are. And how grateful they are that you're going along with their, their versions and their, their story. Now what happens is if you start questioning things and you don't go along with what's going on, the narcissist has a narcissistic injury, which is how dare you not go along with my version, therefore my agenda and what I'm after here, what I'm really after here, which is not going to be good for you, but it's going to be good for me. How dare you mess up my plans? So we go from coercion into threatening. So the narcissist will say things like, I don't think I want to be with somebody who has trust issues or who isn't going to be loyal um, and who isn't going to back me up and believe in me. So what they're doing is they're actually threatening to take away something that's very important to you if you don't go along with their version. So they're saying, I'm going to punish you in this way and this is how your life is going to be limited, destroyed, let down, you're going to lose the dream that you wanted to have unless you believe my version in things. So that's the second way, that's how they step it up. Now the third way is, is if you are still questioning things and you're not going along with their version 
of reality and what they're doing and if you're thinking the actions aren't matching the words you're telling me one thing and you're doing another and I don't know if I'm believing you then the narcissist will start shaming and blaming and guilting you and demeaning you and name calling you and telling you that you've got mental issues you've got trust issues from your past you need therapy and they'll bring in allies real or imagined to pit against you and say that you're the problem in the relationship and uh, there's something wrong with you and other people agree with that and they think you're a horrible person for not believing and trusting and you need help. So if you fall into that pit of believing there's something wrong with you and you're terrified about other people's opinion of you and you feel like you really need approval from the narcissist and from other people, well then you will bury uh, your questioning and your uh, healthy critical thinking and you will go along with the lies no matter how ridiculous they are how many times the goalpost changes and how many times you feel in your gut something's not right how do you break out of all of this first of all I really want you to connect to your soul and trust your gut if something feels off honor it and then use your critical thinking if things don't add up if the goalposts keep changing if this person says one thing and does another and the promise that they gave you doesn't come off and then there's another problem and another issue and another thing and another thing that's causing more anxiety well you know it looks like shite it smells like shite it's shite there's something not right here and as a mature adult you have every single right to demand proof to demand evidence to lay boundaries and say you went missing for three hours and you told me you did this I don't believe you give me the evidence okay it could even be you were texting late into the night there's something not right here show me what that was about okay and this person they're gonna guilt you and they blame you but the thing is you've got to be willing to lose it all to get it all you have got to be willing to say I'm sorry where I'm at right now no no truth no proof no truth I don't believe you please understand good people real people true people who have got nothing to hide literally have nothing to hide for starters you wouldn't be feeling like this you wouldn't be going through anxiety things in your life wouldn't getting be getting worse and more tumultuous they would actually be moving forward into a progression that is healthy solid and real that's what happens in healthy lives it just does it wouldn't be getting worse it wouldn't be helter skelter it wouldn't be making less sense so if you ask for evidence if you don't get evidence if you get more smears more twists more turns more guilting more shaming more hiding of evidence more um, things that don't add up pull away and seek your truth seek the evidence and the reality and the healing and the aligning with your values and your truth that makes sense to you and start living that life because the truth sets you free. What does that really mean? When you're true to your values and you align with truth, even if it hurts, even if it's not the truth and the reality you want it, you're gonna start living a true, real, healthy life. If somebody's lying to you and they're exploiting you, you will know because you become less and less and they become more and more and this means a hundred percent you're with a narcissist and depending upon their intentions for you and what they're doing to you you could be with a sociopath or even a psychopath I don't know how many people need to hear this message right now and you could apply this to anything in your life where this fits right now but I think a lot of people need to hear this lesson snap out of it stop being charmed stop being threatened and stop being smeared and guilted snap out of it and listen to the truth and find it and align with it it'll save your life lots of love bye bye